Van driver killed in horror crash with lorry as police warn of treacherous driving conditions in heavy snow. A second collision, involving two lorries and a car, forced police to close an entire section of the A34 in Hampshire. A 46-year-old man has died after a van and lorry collided in treacherous conditions as heavy snow fell over large parts of the UK. The van driver, from Southampton, was pronounced dead at the scene on the A34 southbound, near Tothill Services in Newbury, Hampshire, at about 7.20am. His passenger suffered life-changing injuries in the horror crash, while the lorry driver was uninjured. A second collision on the northbound side of the road, involving two lorries and a car, left one lorry driver with serious life-changing injuries and forced police to close the entire A34. Police forces were called to dozens of crashes, and warned drivers to avoid unnecessary travel, as heavy snow, high winds and extreme cold cause travel chaos across the country. Hampshire police said the A34 was likely to remain closed until Thursday evening due to extensive damage to the barriers and their location. Hundreds of vehicles were at a standstill in tailbacks that stretched for about eight miles. It took hours for all of the traffic to be released. A police spokesman said, officers were called at 7.18am today to reports of a collision involving a lorry and a van, on the southbound carriageway just two miles prior to the Tothill services. The driver of the van, a 46-year-old man, from Southampton, was pronounced dead at the scene. His front seat passenger was taken to the John Radcliffe Hospital, Oxford. His condition is described as life-changing. The lorry driver was uninjured. A short time later, at 7.52 am, we got reports of a second collision on the A34 northbound at High Clear. This involved two lorries and a car. The male driver of one lorry was taken to the John Radcliffe Hospital with serious life-changing injuries. The road closures will be in place until this evening to ensure the road is completely safe before it is reopened. Sergeant Barry Long, from the Joint Roads Policing Unit, said. We would like to thank everyone for their patience while we deal with this incident, in what are particularly difficult conditions, with temperatures as low as, 7 C. Our thoughts are with the loved ones of the deceased as this time. He added, we have been working hard with our colleagues in the emergency services and highways to ensure those stuck in traffic get away safely and that the road is reopened as quickly as possible. All those who were caught up in the incident have now been able to drive away from the scene. However, due to extensive damage to the barriers and their location, our colleagues from Highways England have informed us that the road is expected to be closed until this evening. We know that this will cause disruption to many people, so if you can avoid the area please do. We will keep you updated regarding the road closure, so please keep checking social media for the latest information. Heavy snow and blizzard conditions were causing widespread problems for travellers on Thursday, as Storm Emma rolled into the UK from the Atlantic and clashed with a polar air mass from Siberia, dubbed the Beast from the East. 